What a day for Team Hendrick. They're running one, two, three, four with 10 laps to go. Alex Bowman currently leads, looking for his second win of the year. Kyle Larson, who dominated today, currently running in second. Looks like he's going to fall short once again. Chase currently running in third. Nice run for him. And William Byron looking to keep his streak of top tens alive, running in fourth in a top five position. A little bit of rain to the south of Dover, but uh, looks like it's going to hold off for the end of this race. Battle for eighth. Daniel Suarez in the 99 and Denny Hamlin in the 11. Hamlin led two laps. Truex led 16. But those are the only non-Hendrick car laps led in this one. I tell you, Daniel Suarez in that 99, that team has been doing pretty well starting out this year. Maybe not performing as elite as some of the bigger dogs out there, but uh, they're doing pretty well. Joey Logano gets himself into the top five. He's got some of the newest tires out there, pitted at lap 327, but unless the caution comes out, it's not going to make a difference. Logano trying to break up the Hendrick one, two, three, four, as we've got a problem on the racetrack. That is Chase Briscoe. I thought that said Boyer for a second. <laughs> Glip Boyer's in the booth. He's not on the racetrack anymore, guys. There's boss man Rick Hendrick. <laughs> he keeps his cool, doesn't he? Dover has been a stomping ground for Team Hendrick. Jimmy Johnson winning 11 races here. Chase winning in 2018. Even though he was racing for Ganassi, Kyle Larson won here in 2019. Kyle Busch had an engine problem. Of course, Kyle wanted to pull it into the garage, being the crybaby that he is. Can't wait to see what Radioactive's got on him this week. Larson has cut the deficit to 1.25. But once again, as I mentioned before, I really don't think it's going to make any difference. Bowman took the reins of the race from Kyle Larson here in stage three. And he has made the most of it ever since. Chris Buescher is going to get another lead lap finish. So is Ross Chastain, Austin Dillon. The lead has extended back to near two seconds. Alex Bowman comes out of turn four. He'll take the white flag. Last lap sponsored by Credit One Bank as it's starting to get dark over there in turns three and four. Alex Bowman won at Richmond a few weeks ago. So maybe he's starting to get on a run here. He'll claim his second win of the year, fourth overall, and his first career at Dover. Alex Bowman to victory lane. Larson second, Chase Elliott third, and yes, sir. Hendrick Motorsports finishes one, two, three, four. This afternoon. Joey Logano rounds out the top five. Yeah, I think I really think Alex Bowman is starting to figure out who he is as a driver and it's paying off now. 
Went over to the 48 team after driving the 88 last couple of years. Acting as the replacement for Jimmy Johnson. And he's making that team proud as he takes the 48 car to victory lane once again at a track where it has found the most success. Remember, Jimmy won 11 times here at this track. Great team performance today. They just went up and smoked them. As Fox Sports will get an interview with Alex Bowman right here. Whoa. We're on, we're on a lot of fire over here. I don't know, somebody wants to come put that out. I kind of like this race car, I want to keep it. How about this? The fans are back. I get to talk to you with my face. It's pretty cool. So, so appreciative to have you guys back here. Um, man, best racetrack on the schedule, in my opinion. Wish we still came here twice, but thank you guys so much for coming out. And Yeah, we're... I don't know. What do I, Somebody's got to... Put out that fire. <laughs> Lighting it up, if you know what I mean. <laughs> oh, man. Now Regan Smith with Kyle Larson. Ever? Unbelievable. 